So we are here for another tea tasting, and this time a company that we've never tried. It's Traveling Tea, and um, Patrick and I were able to get away for our anniversary. Away for our anniversary, and we stopped at an amazing farm-to-table restaurant in uh, Van Buren, Missouri, and in there it was the ranch house so good highly recommend um, this is a tea that they sold for another company in their shop traveling tea it's in Maplewood Missouri which is I've never heard of it so it's probably St. Louis area and she has a lot of teas uh, I was waiting for this one to brew I counted over 140 teas that they have so I'm very excited to try more of them I bought all the varieties that they had at the shop, which were five the day we were there. So this one today is Orange Spice Rooibos, and it's herbal, and it smells really super fantastic. So we're going to taste it. I might not have given it quite enough time, or maybe I didn't put enough tea in it, because it looks kind of light in color, but we will see. And we'll just keep brewing for us while we taste the first taste. It smells fantastic. It's kind of hot. Yeah, still too weak right now. But really good flavor. Let's cheat the system and dump it back. We'll be back in a minute when it actually has time to brew. I'll try to be more patient. We need a spoon. Try this again. One thing that I think that I would do a little bit differently is normally for chais, um, I get them up to a boil and simmer them for a while. And I think that that helps extract more flavor. Another thing that I normally do and I ended up doing here was reaching in and popping all of the cardamom pods so that it would let out more flavor. Um, this is as ready as I'm going to get it until, unless I were to dump it in the pot and boil it. it has a really good flavor. This is, it's very orange. You can taste a lot of orange. It says a mildly spiced orangey blend for those who want a no caffeine chai without pepper. I don't like pepper. Um, I would not necessarily call this a chai. Chai is in parentheses. Uh, it's definitely, I would go more by orange spice rooibos. It's a very good orange spice rooibos. Um, it has rooibos, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger root, clove, orange peel, and natural flavors. All of it is organic except for the natural flavors. But I would, I would drink this. And we brought out some cream and sugar. But I don't think it's strong enough to want to add that. It has a natural sweetness as it is. Probably from the um, orange peel. And cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And because it's not a black tea it didn't get, and it wasn't boiled, it didn't get a super strong taste. There's no bitterness to cover with cream or um, sugar. So I think this is really good. Would you try it iced? Yeah, I think it would be really good iced. I think it would be very good iced. With a little bit of rooibos too, so that it has more of that flavor. Put more rooibos in. Mm -hmm. It's very good. This is our first tea that we've tasted of them, and I do look forward to tasting more. I will probably try this on ice today with what's left in the pot. Set, set. I have some children that are ready to taste this tea, so we'll bring them in. All right. Are you guys ready to taste the tea? It doesn't taste like that, but you told it it was called, it doesn't taste like the rooibos. It doesn't? It doesn't. It tastes like ginger. 
Tastes like ginger. Yeah. Do you taste orange in it? Did you taste it? Your cups are orange. They are orange. Do you like it? It tastes like that now. Does it? Yeah, it tastes like orange. Does it taste good? Mm -hmm. Does it taste good? Yeah. Raise your hand if you like it. All right. Is it good, Hazard?